What up, y'all? We're back here again, and today we got a rare smoothie for you. We're using some cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Or as I like to call it, cantaloupe. And you know, usually I would get a, just a real cantaloupe, I feel like. Thing is, you can't always get like the freshest fruit all the time. Sometimes it's winter time. Sometimes, you know, your grocery store just sucks, or it's out, or people bought it all, or they're just kind of like not a good selection for the time. Usually, I totally get like a real cantaloupe, but uh, I don't know. They just had these cups, these cups. Uh, so we're gonna make it do. I think it will be pretty good. We're also gonna use these strawberries. They're kind of old. We're not going to use these strawberries. They're full of mold. Um, but we're going to use some canned pineapple, some deluxe gold, and, you know, the rest of this. And this yogurt also is, you know, it needs to be used. It's not going bad, but it needs to be used sometime soon. So let's get to it. All right. So I forgot we have a banana, too. And it's been in the fridge, so it's kind of nice and chilly. It will add to the coldness. So we're going to go in here. And like usual, throw some ice in first. Three cubes. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go full four cubes, I think. Just because we don't have too many icy things. No frozen fruit, really, in this. We're just kind of, it's going to be really yogurty, banana-y. We'll see how it turns out. I said I can't remember a time that I've done a a cantaloupe smoothie. And we'll fill this up to about hmm. Let's say this ah fuck. There's only that much left. Might as well just use it up. If you leave this much orange juice in the bottom of your orange juice thing, for the next for the next person to see, you're a dick dick move. Oh, so that's about two cups of OJ. And now let's throw a freaking a good amount of this yogurt in here. And this is just plain. This is like cow gurt. It's not cashew gurt or almond gurt or oat gurt. I want it to be super yogurt. Fuck yeah. Gonna be super gritty. Alright, what should we go in next? Let's actually blend this up a bit. Where fuck is my lid? Bam. Move bananas. Ah. Alright. Blender machine, go. Mm -hmm. pre-chop. That's not the end of it though. Alright, now let's throw in this nanner. We're just going to throw in this whole nanner. Doop. Doop. Boop. And now let's for this cantaloupe. Bam, 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 bam. Kind of just tastes like yogurt right there. And let's go for a chop. save it any cantaloupe. Well, hold on. Mm. 
and stuff like that. And this. That's what's going on in. about the lemon the lemon I think is gonna come in super handy here it's gonna tart up this whole thing I don't even think I'm gonna throw the pineapples in there honestly I like just kind of eating these uh, things of pineapple it's fucking good right in the middle of the day maybe like split it up good stuff all right And here's what you don't do. Just kidding. No, but really what you don't do is you don't put the freaking lemon in the smoothie. I bet you're like, no shit. But maybe get the little seeds out of there because like, they're just going to pop right out. Boop. And then we're just going to squeeze the shit out of this lemon. All in here. I hope I didn't get a seed in there. Oh, I'm sure it's just a little bit of fiber. Seeds are actually carbohydrates. Like what's all in there so the little baby plant inside the seed can eat some shit while it's growing. <laughs> Abomination. That's not bad at all. No, sir. You know, the lemon, I think, really did it. I think it would be a little empty without that bit of lemony tartness just right at the end there. You almost smell the lemon more than anything. But then the taste is actually really mellow. No wonder people don't use cantaloupes much, because put a lot of cantaloupe in there and there's not a lot of flavor from it. I feel like it mostly just tastes the orange juice and the, uh, that little squeeze of half a lemon just took it all over. Weird. This is probably one of the first times I felt a little more comfortable in front of the camera you know I'm trying to treat it like more like a homie or I'm like talking to somebody or other not just this weird thing that's filming me literally it feels pretty good you know going out on any endeavor is like a little weird and awkward and, you know by definition a bit uh out of your comfort zone but it's good and you start getting accustomed to it. Like now, I'm just talking to a camera. But it's not as weird as talking to the camera a few other times. Like, you'd probably be all closer, but I'm always kind of weirded out when people got the freaking camera right up on their face and they're talking, you can see their double chins and... It's like the close-ups in the Ren and Stimpy's back in the day. The close up is like hyper details, it's disgusting. Not bad. I was wondering about the texture of the cantaloupe, because a lot of times, like, you know, you throw apples in a smoothie, you just kind of get a little bit of applesauce. They don't like the fiberness of it doesn't break down the right way. Like, just with, like, oranges, you don't really want to throw oranges in the 
in a smoothie or, or lemons themselves because those fibrous uh, that fibrous matter just doesn't really go away and it's always just kind of pulpy and it kind of makes it a little less enjoyable in my opinion but you know this isn't too bad at all just uh wonder how much cantaloupe you got to use to have like a full-on cantaloupe cantaloupe smoothie like for it to you know someone to taste it and be like whoa that's a cantaloupe smoothie holy shit probably gotta be some sort of extra super cantaloupe mm. get some more of them what oh my goodness look at that my freaking dude wasn't even rolled up properly have no fear sometimes if your paper's gum gets all kind of screwed up and it's not very sticky what you do is you kind of bite down on it with your tongue and you tear it up and then that kind of the, the frills of the tears will stick to the paper well take a little bite like a little freaking stony caterpillar Beep. get the paper off your teeth and you're good okay. it's nice to be able to smoke weed on YouTube yeah as long as I'm not selling you guys nothing which I don't really plan on it I can smoke the weeds and at least I don't think they'll kick me off also since I'm getting a little more comfortable whoever does watch this you know talk about what you like and what you don't like a little bit I know I'm kind of just haphazard and all over the place with shit but you know I could try to lean in a direction if you guys like certain things if you guys want more close-ups of the ingredients or of the actual smoothie making process and try to get some more camera angles kind of don't know it's important to y'all so uh, you know let me know maybe but cantaloupe smoothies boy it's not very cantaloupey maybe it is cantaloupe I'd hate to say it nah it's a cantaloupe I don't think there's anything wrong with throwing a little cantaloupe in the smoothies now I'm gonna do it more I'm gonna try try to make a honeydew smoothie hopefully it's not a honey don't oh winter is coming and uh, so we're going to be messing around with some hot smoothie shakes. And smoothie shakes, believe it or not, can be hot and warm and good for winter time. Because who wants to drink an icy ass smoothie when it's icy as fuck outside? No one. Can't be cold on the inside and the outside. You're going to die, fly. Hold on. This fly, you got to get him. I'm back at a different point in time. There's been this fly, and I forgot what I was talking about mid-sentence. But hot smoothie shakes are a real fucking thing, and they're totally... You're gonna learn how to do them. It's really good, especially if you like coffee. But also, if you don't like coffee. But you gotta like chocolatey things. Or vanilla-y things. Or peanut buttery things. Or coffee -y things. And that's just how it is. I already drank my smoothie, but imaginary smoothie, cheers.